hey Astro Army, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get rich fast and easy in Adopt Me. But before we do get started in today's video, be sure to follow my Roblox profile, link down below in the description to join my game, and also be sure to join my Roblox group, link also down below in the description. We have a bunch of fun over there, and there's also some really cute merch that you guys can purchase. But with all that being said, let's just get straight into today's video. All right, you guys, I have a load of tips that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. These are the tips that I've been using for the past three years that I've been playing Adopt Me, and I'm super excited to be sharing them all with you today. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, you guys, so my first tip revolves around the Adopt Me eggs. One of the biggest advantages Adopt Me gets you straight away is the luxury of making bucks, which is something that can help you tremendously. We'll get in on how to make bucks later, but the first thing you can do is purchase the eggs in the nursery. There are four types of eggs, which we are familiar with. However, I recommend that you only buy the gumball machine eggs because every few months, there will be a refresh and you won't be able to get those pets anymore. So whichever pet you hatch out of these gumball machine eggs will eventually leave the game, further increasing their value. The other type of egg to buy is the cracked egg because it's really cheap for an Adopt Me egg, it's only 350 Adopt Me cash, and you can get loads of different pets for worth your money. Getting a ton of bucks can in turn give your inventory lots of pets, which leads to Neons and Megas, my friend. Alright you guys, my next tip is making bucks. Making bucks, as we've established, is super important, but how do we make them? Well, there are lots of easy and fun ways to do so. The first way is by simply pulling out a pet, turning into a baby, and just completing task after task. Another way is very simple, but if you have a hot dog stand, a lemonade stand, or any other stand, you can set them up and sell them for one to two bucks each, and over time, it'll add up quickly. Make sure you put them in common areas such as the campsite or the center. Another great way is through your personal task board. You get new tasks very often and some of these you can make bucks with, which is super amazing for quick money making in the game. Sometimes you need to trade someone or give something to someone, so you shouldn't do this with random people because of obvious scamming reasons, which we don't want that. So you can give it to a trusted friend or even an alt account so that you can get it back, but still get the bucks you're in search of. All right, you guys, my next tip is raising pets. If you want to get neon or mega pets, it's gonna be tricky, but there are many different methods. One of which is trading, which we'll get into later, but first we have some methods on aging to make it fast. The first one is the use of alt accounts to raise multiple pets at the same time, so you get more of a four for the price of one kind of deal, because it'll take the same amount of time to raise a pet to full grown, but you'll be getting multiple pets full grown depending on how many you're raising. Make sure you also have made a grinding house where you have tubs or showers, cribs, pianos, and food and water bowls so that you have somewhere you can always reset to in order to do tasks more efficiently. You can also have a pet that you make full grown, like a common for example, so it's easy, that you can just earn age of potions to use on your other pets. In my opinion, age of potions are easier for me because it feels like less work and then I can just use the potions on my other pets. Age of Potions increase a pet's age by 30 tasks, which is really awesome. So if you just keep growing the same pet's friendship level and just keep getting those age potions, it's gonna feel like way less work and in my opinion, it's better. One last thing is grabbing free food around Adoption Island for your pets and yourself if you're a baby. My next tip is neons and megas. With all this raising that you're doing, you're gonna wanna make neons and megas. These kinds of pets are desired by everyone. This means that you'll wanna trade them. I know it'll be hard seeing your work go away, but there are ways to trade them for your own benefit. Trading is next, I promise, but I'm speaking from experience that I get attached to my neon and mega pets and never wanna trade them. It's a problem. But once I get a really good offer and I decline it, there's always regret. Be sure when you have a feeling an offer is good, just hit the accept button because it's benefiting you and growing your inventory, which is why you're here, right? You want to learn how to do that. Perfect. Also, I'll let you in on a little secret. I have a few videos on how to make neons and megas faster so that you can do this more often. Okay, now let's move on to trading. There are certain ways to do it for your own benefit. Trading is a great way to build up your inventory. For example, there are many different trading challenges that you can try to complete in order to build your way up. Some of these challenges include the common to legendary challenge, or if you want an even bigger challenge, you can do the common to neon or mega neon challenge. I have some videos on these topics which are a little outdated, but they can still be helpful. I'll put them in the eye in the corner, but please comment down below if you want me to make an updated version of any of these videos. Another way trading can help you in Adami is by profit trading. Profit trading is where you start with something, trade it for multiple items or pets, then you only trade a portion of those items back for the same item you originally started with. 
Profit trading with neons and megas is my favorite thing to do. I can't tell you the amount of pets I've gotten from doing this. Obviously, this can be very difficult and keep in mind you might have to switch servers as you want to do this with different people because certain people have their own values. Also, be sure to always trade for overpays because they will help you out so much and people often overpay for something they're looking for. This can include preppy pets and I am speaking from experience to be honest, so this can be a great tactic. Before we move on, if you don't know about certain scams, please update and educate yourselves with the most recent scams so that you're protected from this, because while trading is the best way in my opinion to grow your inventory fast, sometimes there are sketchy people and you need to be aware of that. But don't worry, most people are kind, and if you're kind to them, chances are they'll be kind to you also. But all in all, trading challenges, profit trading, and more are very efficient ways to grow your inventory, and it's definitely my favorite way too. All right, you guys, my next tip is values. Something we talked about in the last tip was values. Values are super duper important for playing Adami and for growing your inventory. Want a bat dragon? Do you know the value of a bat dragon? If you don't, how are you gonna trade for one? Values are the most essential tool for learning how trading runs this game. But not to worry, there are many resources you can use for values. These include recent YouTube videos, keep in mind the keyword recent. Old values will be no help because values change so frequently. Other resources include Elverbred Values, he has a YouTube channel where he posts these every once in a while, so I will leave that down below in the description, and he also has a website where you can check your trade with someone else's in order to get a pretty good understanding of what your trade might need to be, value-wise, in order for it to get accepted. There are so many other kinds of methods that I won't fit into this video, but I can make a separate video on how to learn values if you would like. So these are all great resources for values, and I highly recommend learning them in order to understand Adopt Me more. My next tip is participating in updates. At the time, Adami updates every Friday. These updates can include anything from pets, items, limited things, etc. There are even month-long events like Summerfest, Springfest, Winterfest, Lunar New Year, I could go on. These events have certain pets and items that are limited time and are never returning. They are also in-game for a short amount of time. Want to grow your inventory? Use the trading tips plus these events to your advantage. These new pets are at their highest value right now when they come out, so this will be the time to trade, trade, trade. Then, later in the event, it's time to make your neons and profit from those. These events can really be used for your advantage to grow your inventory. For example, in winter of 2022, I traded one of the new pets for a neon lava dragon right after the update came out, which was a huge win for me. I'm telling you, playing the events is super helpful. Plus, the mini games and stuff are super fun. Alright, you guys, my last tip is really easy, but it is to log in every day. It goes without saying, but logging in every day is super helpful in gaining bucks, items, and sometimes pets. And building up a login streak is also super fun because now you can display it in your journal as well. Okay, you guys, one other thing I did want to mention is that Adami did recently release something called the Pets Plus Game Pass. So all of these things can go hand in hand with all of the tips that I've been talking about. So there are a bunch of things that you can do that include equipping two pets, you have a bunch more VIP benefits, you have a sticker pack, you can have a raised bucks cap which means you can make more bucks each adopt me day um and if you lose your streak you can save it and you get a legendary treat so i just wanted to throw that out there that this can be a great way to increase your adopt me experience well guys thank you so so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed and if it was helpful please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below turn on a post notification bell leave a big thumbs up on today's video and leave a comment down below answering the question of the day in the description down below and any other videos that you guys would like to see I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day or night. Bye.